period. Now, now that we have the restored version of Malachi, in Malachi chapter 3, verse 8, I'm going to read it, and it says, Behold, ye wicked servants. Now, they made, in the Bible, it looked like the Father was talking about the people in the paying of these tithes. But now that we have the restored version, we see that is not so. It says, Behold, ye wicked servants, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed, you have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? Ye have robbed me in the tithes and the offerings that you have taken of the people for yourselves. Did you hear that? It's talking about all of these churches, how they are taking the money, but they're taking the money for themselves. Now, let's go to the seal portion. Let's take a look at seal portion, chapter 39, verse number 30. And it says, And it happened that Peter and Andrew were present when John had argued with his father, Zacharias, a high priest, when Zacharias was engaged in officiating in his office and calling within the church. And they believed on the words of John. And from that time forward, did not return again to the church, nor did they pay their tithes and offering because of those things which they heard from the mouth of John concerning the abuses of the church. And there's nothing new under the sun. Everything that took place back then is taking place right now. Now, in Acts chapter 7, we understand because we believe that the churches are the places that we're supposed to go. And we've been brainwashed to believe this. We've been brainwashed to believe that the individual can't receive revelation from the Father ourselves. And that we have to go and sit in these churches. And it says in Acts chapter 7, verse number 48, it says, How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made of hands, as saith the prophet. It says, Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house would you build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Have not my hand made all these things? It says, You stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit, as your fathers did, so do ye. So it's, you see here, it's the same thing, nothing new under the sun. Now, let's see what Jesus had to say about this in the sealed portion, chapter 46, starting at verse number 13. And it says, And Jesus taught the people that the synagogues and temples that were built among them were useless in the purpose for which they believed that they were created, even that they were the houses of God. For he taught them that the Father would never reside in a house built by the hands of men but that he dwelt in the hearts and minds of each of his children, according to the power of his spirit, which was the Holy Spirit. And many of the things that Jesus taught to the people were hard for them to accept. Yea, none of the things which he taught unto them were hard to understand, but they were hard to accept. For the people were so entrenched in their traditions, did you hear that? They're so entrenched in their traditions and in their customs that they could not accept that a man who is not set apart and ordained by the leadership of the church could teach them the things of God. So they believe that you had to be ordained by the church and they don't understand that your ordination comes from the Father. And it says, verse 15, and Jesus began to teach the people that they should not support the church and its wickedness by the payment of tithes and offerings, but that they should give that which they could afford to the poor and those who have less than they do. You see where your money is supposed to go to? You see who it's supposed to help? When you understand the laws and you understand that we're supposed to all be equal and that we should all be helping each other, then this makes per perfect sense that we're supposed to be trying to help those that are less fortunate than us.
That's not what they made us think. Here it is. We gave all these thousands of dollars to these different churches. And every now and then you might see a church doing something here or there. But you don't see these churches out there five to seven days a week trying to be able to help. You might have a few out there, but the majority are not. You can also go into a lot of these urban cities and you see churches on almost every corner. And they're not helping anyone but themselves. Now, let me read that one more time. And it says, And Jesus began to teach the people that they should not support the church and its wickedness by the payment of tithes and offerings, but that they should give that which they could afford to the poor and those who have less than they do. And Jesus condemned the rich and also the leaders of the church for the luxurious lifestyles that they lived. Did you hear that? He condemned these rich people for how they lived. Having received these things because of that which the people gave unto the church. Now the people of the church were led to believe that their leaders were men who had been blessed with the riches because of the richness, because of their righteousness before God. And they supposed that the riches meant righteousness, then they should, that they should covet and seek after these riches, that they might prove to their neighbor that they were righteous, like unto the example of their leaders, whom the people believed were the examples of God pertaining to righteousness. And the people of the church were prejudiced and biased towards those who did not belong to their church, even those whom they called Gentiles among them, and they would command their children not to play with those who are not members of their church, thus committing great sin and wickedness among them, and teaching these abominations to their children. It's so messed up. We've been so jacked up. We've been so deceived. Now, let me read the seal portion, chapter 48, verse 43. And Satan shall use this church to deceive the earth and turn the people from the message of Christ. And this church shall grow in strength, even by the power that Satan shall give unto it. But its numbers shall be few, and the strength that it shall receive shall be the strength that Satan shall give unto them because of their riches and the money that they have taken from the people in their tithes an offering. Family, if we're supposed to be treating our neighbor as ourself and seeing each other as equal, then we should be helping the poor and not giving our money to all of these different churches. The churches are not like they're supposed to be. And most people cannot see it. But I'm, I pray that you're able to receive this word. All right, family. Enough said. Love you. Shalom.